post trade moment number 28. Here we have the liar trying to claim that the first resurrection is actually two resurrections. Check this out. Fruits, which is Jesus, just one person rising from the dead, Jesus Christ. Okay, he claims here in 1 Corinthians 15 that the first fruits in the resurrection was just Jesus Christ. Nobody else came up. So I saw this one, and I just thought I'd watch it, but I said, uh, when did Old Testament saints come up? What resurrection was this event part of? They did not come up, he says here. Oh, really? They didn't come up, huh? What about here in Matthew chapter 27, verses 53 to 52 to 53? The graves were open. Many bodies of saints which slept arose, came out of the graves after his resurrection, went into the holy city, and appeared unto many. I guess they went back into the graves then. Well, according to Steve Anderson, yeah, I'm sure that they did. The first resurrection is, number one, Old Testament saints with Jesus, dead and living saints at the rapture, saints killed during the rapture, and raised at the end of the millennium. Revelation 20, verse 5. Three parts to one resurrection, and we'll see that in a minute. He writes back, wow, you've got to be kidding. You think that many bodies of the saints means all Old Testament believers. That is a stretch. Why? Why is that a stretch? Okay, it's just ridiculous. Let me just show you something here. First Peter chapter 3 Verse 18, For Christ also hath once suffered for sins, the just for the unjust, that he might bring us to God, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the Spirit. Now look at this scripture here. By which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. Huh? What's this have to do with anything? Well, the Old Testament saints were down there in Abraham's bosom, in the heart of the earth. Why? Because the blood wasn't there to cleanse them of their sins to take away their sins so that they could go right into heaven. They couldn't go right into heaven. They had to go down and wait there until Jesus died on the cross. Jesus went down to the heart of the earth for three days. What was he doing down there? Okay. He brought those saints with him. Let me show you another thing here. Ephesians chapter 4. Okay, it says here, but unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore he saith, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and gave gifts unto men. When did he lead captivity captive? Now that he ascended, what is it but that he also descended first into the lower parts of the earth? He that descended is the same also that ascended up far above all heavens, that he might fill all things. What's going on here? Jesus Christ went down, preached to the spirits in prison, the Old Testament saints, and took them up to heaven with him at the first resurrection. Okay? The Old Testament saints are in heaven right now. They're not waiting for the rapture. I'm real sorry. Again, Steve Anderson is lying here. But let's continue on. I'll play another part for you. He was the first fruits. Then you have what the Bible calls the first resurrection. That is what takes place at Christ's coming. And then you're going to have a second resurrection that. Ooh, second resurrection? Takes place after the millennium. That's what the passage said. It said, Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ at his coming, then come at the end, and it says it's after he's already reigned. Now, let's go to Revelation chapter 20 and begin reading in verse number. For the Bible reads, And I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Okay. Now look. This is the first resurrection. That's going to be in the next verse. Okay. But the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years are finished. This is the first resurrection. And what I want to point out there is that when the Bible says this is the first resurrection, that group includes people who were beheaded for not receiving the mark of the beast. So my question is this. If there's a pre-trib rapture, if the first resurrection 
is pre-tribulational, then why does it include people who have not received the mark of the beast and people who refuse to worship his image? Now, those now wait a second. Who said anything about the first resurrection being pre-tribulational? The first resurrection has three parts to it. Okay, Old Testament saints with Jesus Christ, New Testament Christians at the rapture, and everybody else here at the end of the millennium. That's the first resurrection. The first resurrection has three parts. Watch him lie. Those who believe in a pre-trib rapture will say, well, you know, when the Bible says the first resurrection, it doesn't really mean the first resurrection. It just means the first kind of resurrection, the first resurrection. And they say it happens in stages. And so it's just a different stage. But here's the problem with that. In 1 Corinthians 15, the Bible very clearly laid out the timeline of the resurrection. Christ the first fruits, afterward they that are Christ that is coming, then come at the end and keep reading. And it's obviously clearly talking about the millennium. Yeah, three parts to one resurrection. Okay, it's one harvest. When you harvest your crops, you have first fruits, harvest, gleanings. Three parts to one resurrection. That's what the Bible says. First resurrection at the end of the thousand years. The thousand years were finished. The first resurrection. So there's no room for all these multi stages of, you know, the three raptures or five raptures or seven raptures. What in the world is he talking about? He's just off into a, a just la la land right now. That the pre tribulation crowd will often teach. No, there's no room for that. The Bible's real clear. It's just Christ the first fruits. Afterward, they that are Christ that is coming, then come at the end. That's the first resurrection. The Bible says, we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. And so that is talking about the dead in Christ rising first at his coming. That is the first resurrection, and it includes people who refuse to take the mark of the beast because it happens after the tribulation. Uh... Do that. Let's do that one more time here. Talking about the dead in Christ rising first at his coming. That is the first resurrection, and it includes people who refuse to take the mark of the beast because it happens after the tribulation. Okay, the first resurrection happens after the tribulation. I just showed you. The thousand years are finished. This is excuse me, this is the first resurrection. Again, he doesn't know scripture. The first resurrection has three parts. All he's doing is just coming out and saying, yes, the truth is a lie, and, and here's my warped theory. This guy doesn't know scripture. It's just incredible.